takes the infinite God to define the absolute, which is love. Those who choose Jesus Christ to be their Lord and Savior, the way they think internally, wholeheartedly, is God is love, God loves me, and I am living to love him back. That's all you'll be thinking of. How God loves me and how I need to give a return of that love back to him. The one who sent his only son to die for me, the sinner. How can I give that love back? How can you give it? When you testify for him in this world. You know, in the Gospel of John, according to John, the Lord Jesus says something, as always, so deep and profound. He says, Just like I am in you, meaning you, those who believe in Him, just like I am in you, you are, I want you to be in me as well. So, what does it mean, He is in us, and we are in him. We in him means, where is Jesus now? Sitting at the right hand of his father. What is he doing? He is representing everyone who believes in Jesus Christ and take him as Lord and Savior. Those who, who want and choose to follow him and wholeheartedly live for him. What is the Lord doing now? He, we are in him. Meaning, he is representing us before God the Father. How is he representing us? Perfect, without a blemish, without a stain, without any sin. Yet, are we perfect? Far from it. But you see, when Jesus represents us built on that love, he represents us all, the imperfect, as perfect children of God, because he is our advocate. Now the Lord says, just like I am representing you before my dad, who art in heaven, I expect you to represent me before the world. How are we representing before the world? By lying, by killing, by stealing, by using foul language. This is not the Lord. The Lord is holy. The Lord is the light of the world. The Lord is the truth. How are we representing the Lord by walking in dark alleys? This is not a true representation of the Lord. We need to reflect Him in our life before the world. The world is living in darkness. The world is living in the bosom of someone who is the father of all lies called Satan. That's why the world gives you nothing but lies. Just like good old Winston Churchill, who happened to be the Prime Minister of Great Britain during World War II, and he said his powerful statement. He said, I thought the atomic bomb was the most powerful weapon in the world. It is not. The most powerful weapon in the world is the truth. And that is why it is quite often being surrounded by a bodyguard of lies. The truth is the most powerful weapon in the world. That's why it is quite often being surrounded by a bodyguard of lies, 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 lies. And this is what you see. And this is what you get from the world. The mainstream media, liars, politicians, far from Kirk Kelly, liars. Leaders, leaders, standing and speaking lies through their very teeth. Because where do they get this from? Their master, Satan. But when you have Christ in your heart, Christ is the teacher, not a teacher, the only teacher. What will Christ teach you? Truth. For his light 
And when you are in the light, everything is vividly clear. Everything becomes extremely clear. This is the Lord. All he knows is to speak the truth. That's why the world hates the truth. That's why the world hates the light. That's why the world hates love. See, some people think that love is weak. In fact, love is the most powerful thing ever to exist. Love moves mountains. What is the definition of a true man? The definition of a true man is not the one that says, I can knock this wall down. I can break the teeth that are in your mouth. No. A true man is the one who is able to give his life for the one he loves. Now, that is a true man. Sacrifice. It takes sacrifice to make men. So a man is not defined by his physical powers, but by the powers of his sacrifices. And it takes love for you to sacrifice. Because it is impossible to give your life for someone unless you love that someone more than yourself. That's why we see love more so vividly clear and so strong in parenthood. Parents give their life for their children. Do they think for a moment when they have that baby, do they ever think for a moment, why am I working so hard to provide for my baby? Why am I having endless and sleepless nights for the sake of my, the well-being of my baby. Why is it when the baby cries, I run like crazy to my baby. When they have a high temperature, I go to the doctor and I don't look at the time, whether it be early morning or any time of the day, because all I care about, this baby is my life. He is me. Do you ever think for a moment, parents, that... Who says, with all the love I'm showing my baby, with all the sacrifices I'm giving my baby, who says this baby, once they grow older and become mature, who says they will respect what I've done for them? They never think. Why? Because love, all it thinks is I have to give because this baby is more precious than my own life to me. This is absent in this world. What does the world do? I will do anything and everything in my power, even if it means I kill my own brother, for me to be seen in the picture, then I'll do it. The world takes, Christ gives. The world kills, Christ revives. Christ revives.